Good evening guys or good morning wherever you are in the world. Uh, so in this video I'm going to show you guys how to put a logo on your PCB. So we've been doing a lot of PCB designs lately on our live streams on Sundays with the drone and the keypad and all that fun stuff. So I just thought in this video I'll show you guys some questions that I've been getting regularly or often regularly. Um, how to put a logo on your PCB. So I'll just take you guys through step by step, um, tell you guys what's important and just basically finally how to do it. So the first, first thing we need is a PCB, right? Um, so as you guys know in my previous videos, edge cut is your layer where you make the PCB outline. So let's just make a quick outline here just for this tutorial. You push E uh, for the properties. Let's make it 100. I always make it 100 because that is the biggest you can get to get a cheap PCB. So let's just make a square here. Ctrl C, Ctrl V. Uh, R for rotate. Let's just put it in the middle here. Yeah. So if we move it in the middle, push Alt 3, and then we get our 3D PCB. Uh, always save. So what we want to do is KiCad lets you put in your own logo but only in SVG and only DXF actually. So it accepts DXF, so a vector graphics file. So we need to make sure our logo is in the DXF file. So DXF is basically just the outline of your logo and that's how KiCad reads it. So a DXF is a CAD file extension. Uh, but normally our logos are PNGs or JPEGs and things like that. So what we first need to do is convert our JPEG or bitmap or PNG to a DXF. So that is what I'll show you guys now. So for this example, I just took desktop logo example. As you can see, I've got my two logos. So you've got one color and one black and white. So the one black and white is the final one that we need. So when you make a DXF, it only takes two colors because it's just lines. The more colors you have in your bitmap or JPEG, the harder it will become to become a DXF, if you understand what I'm trying to say. So what you can do is you can open your color picture and put it into paint. Uh, not like that. Can I do this? Don't save. Yes. So you can see it's green, purple, not too bad, actually not a lot of colors. Now we're going to save it as, uh, oh, 1,000 subscribers. Yay. Um, yeah, we're giving a giveaway this Sunday, guys, so the 27th of, of September. So please feel free to join us with a live stream. Uh, but that's not what this video is about, logo example. So now I want to save it as black and white. So that's a monochrome bitmap. See, I already made it, so I'll just make it for another example. Example, save. Uh, yeah, we'll lose some transparency because we're changing the color. We lose some quality, but it does not matter. There we go. So I can exit this now. So when you go to Google, you can type in, uh, what did I save it as? You need to check the file extension. So this is a BMP bitmap, so you can go bitmap to DXF. And normally get the Coberto, this, this is quite a good website. You choose your file, uh, desktop, log example. So we choose our file. And now we convert it, boom. It will start converting. So this Convertio is free, but only for 30 minutes. So try to get all your DXFs in the 30 minutes. Download. Now you can see it's there. So this DXF we should be able to import to our PCB. So file, import, import graphics, browse. It's under download, so the pump logo. So the important thing is the line width and the import scale. So let's see how it looks like. I want to put on the front silk so that is the silk screen that's where you'll see the image that's when they make the pcb that is exactly how it will look and there we go 
the conosity is. So you can see it's quite big. Uh, we don't want this big. So Control Z, File Import, and then you play with the scale. So 0.05. There we go. I want to make it a bit bigger. Uh, 0.08. Yeah, that looks nice. So there we go. Um, just to double check, push Alt 3 and you'll see that it's actually not quite nice on the PCB. That has to do with the line width. So if you go File, Import, Import Graphics, and you see the line width. Um, so you can try and make it 50. Uh, this is trial and error, so you want to see it. Boom. So this looks much better. So guys, that's how easy it is to make a logo on a PCB. So it's important to note, um, try to make your bitmap or JPEG as simple as possible as little as colors, try to get in black and white because a converter program on Google just takes different colors, two colors and makes the changes, right? So if you have too many colors, it gets a bit confused and your picture will not look this good. Well, this actually doesn't look good, there's some trouble, but that is the basis of it. So you can take any JPEG, any bitmap um, and make logos on your PCB. When you search on Google, search for vectors, search for DXF images, and then you'll be able to do this. I hope that helped. Please leave a, your comments below if you have any other questions on PCB design. So I'm going to try and make a bit small snippets on just things like this. How to do this, uh, how to make maybe flex PCBs, how to... Yeah, guys, just ask questions and I will look in the comments and just answer them in small videos like this. I think it's a bit easier than the five hour long live streams. As you can see, I'm already talking too long. Um, guys, have an awesome night, awesome day, wherever you are in the world. Thanks for joining in, and remember, if you like these videos, please push the subscribe button, the like button, and all that fun stuff. And join us on our live streams on Sunday nights. Uh, it's all Sunday nights, Sunday afternoons, 12 p.m. Uh, that's where we build our things and just chat as a community. Thanks, guys. I hope this is helpful. Bye.